We're going to find our first request <clears throat> for this evening in the seventh chapter of Romans that all of God's children would be able to see the other law that is in them. Chapter 7, verse 23. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. The Lord gives us this knowledge because the wicked one would uh, assail us and try to defile us again in our conscience, try to convince us that, that the salvation that has come to us in Christ Jesus is not really effectual in us or to us, to try to uh, convince us that we haven't been changed. There's no real essential difference in us now. You see, that's a lie. But because we have another law in our members, there is a part of us of which this is true. It's just not the part that we're identified with. It's not the part that God God accounts us as. We ourselves are at war against that part, that is that, that corruption that still remains in our members. So it, it's an important thing for the, the children of God to see that, that they're not complete yet. We haven't put away uh, these bodies which are still subject to corruption. And until we do, we're going to have something of the earth that remains with us. That it isn't us. It isn't our identity. It isn't us in the sense that, that it condemns us. But we haven't, we haven't experientially put it away. We're to subject it and subdue it and to crucify it and not and deny it expression. But we can't just pretend. See, nothing about the scriptures, nothing about the faith calls on us to deny reality. We're, we're not pretenders. But this rightly defines what is going on in us whenever we would will to do good, and yet we find another law in us uh, so that we're not confused, so that we're not weakened because we don't have the knowledge of these things. But rather, so we know what to do. We realize that this is enmity with us just as it is with God. And it's subject to us by the grace of God. And for us to put it away and not allow ourselves to think that we have a, an affection for the things of the earth still. And that that part of us will one day be removed. Amen. So who will lead us in that request that all of God's children would be able to see the other law that is in them. Brother Jeremy, Brother Judah, Brother Matthew, thank you. Our next request is found in Ephesians chapter 3. We'll be ver uh, reading verses 8 and 9. Our prayer is that all believers would be able to see the fellowship of the mystery. We're looking for spiritual understanding here, brethren. <clears throat> Verses 8 and 9. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, from which the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Christ Jesus. The fellowship of the mystery. So we've, we've tasted some of this through the teachings of Paul. Uh, these are things that cannot be known unless God revealed them. The, remember, the, the, uh, the mysterious things belong to the Lord, the secret things. Well, see, he is beginning to unfold. We, he has, Christ has made a people to whom more revelation can be given than we were able to receive under the law or when we were just abject heathens. There was no way for us to understand these things, but this is part of the greatness of the work of Christ, that now we are beginning to be brought into the fellowship of the mystery, that, that both Jew and Gentile are actually being made partakers of the, the, the very Godhead 
the, the greatness of this work of salvation, that it's not confined to the earth and the conditions of earth, but we've actually entered into an eternal and spiritual condition. So that's our request, that all believers would be able to see. This see means have an understanding of it, to be able to take hold of it. Whatever revelation comes to us, to be able to take hold of it and to understand it and hold it fast and operate according to the truth thereof, to be made wise, if you will. And to actually, this fellowship means, you know, back in Micah it says, what did the Lord require of thee? but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. See, this is where God is allowing us to walk more closely. We're walking with God in this fellowship of the mystery. So who will lead us in that request? Brother Aaron? All right. Then finally, brethren, if you want to turn to Hebrews chapter 2, we'll be reading verse 9 for our prayer that we would all be able to see Jesus now, crowned with glory and honor. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. We want to see the effects of what Christ did. He, he humbled himself, but it was a, a, a order to a greater glory of God. Because Christ has done that, God will be known more thoroughly, more extensively, more perfectly than ever he could have been revealed had Christ not done this. For this cause, Christ is crowned with glory and honor. The Father honors the Son, and we honor the Son. And the and Christ has honored the Father and glorified Him and still does. And we're brought into that too. We honor the Father and glorify Him. We're made capable of doing this. Instead of just uttering ignorant things, we can now be very specific in our praises of God. We can actually understand some of the, some of the nuances of what Christ accomplished on behalf of God and on behalf of us. And, and give insightful, particular, strong praises to God and glorify Him really when we speak. To have another person understand God more thoroughly because of what you said, can you imagine the honor of that? To be able to, to be that kind of messenger? So we want to see Jesus now, now crowned with glory and honor will lead us in that request. Brother Tony. Brother Michael. All right, thank you, brother. And then, uh, Brother Aaron, would you pray for Brother Given before he comes to preach? Thank you. <clears throat> 